Hey, Money Magnets, I'm your host, Dr. Amanda, and you're in the right place if you're ready to learn law of attraction strategies that will help you rapidly grow your business. And today, you're going to learn how to get into productive action so that you can experience client attraction and turn on your money magnetism in order to get to six-figure plus success and map out really what the law of attraction for business formula is. I'm going to map out the three principles and fundamentals and then give you action steps that are going to help you get into inspired action so that you can turn on your client attraction and money magnetism and grow your business to the level you desire. All right, so let's break down the law of attraction for business formula. So this is the LOA for biz formula, and it is made up of three components. Number one you are wanting to focus on productive action. And we'll describe what all of these are. So number one, productive action. Number two, client attraction. And number three, money magnetism. And I want you to think about how when you are in productive action and you've turned on your client attraction, this will create you to be a money magnet, which causes you to experience rapid biz growth. And that's what we all want as entrepreneurs. We want to experience rapid business growth. We don't want stagnancy or plateaus or even worst case scenario, scenario, we're spending more money than we're making. What we want is high ROI productivity that leads to results, that leads us to attracting clients easily, that leads us to increasing our money in the bank, where we feel like I am a money magnet, right? We want to be saying, I'm a money magnet every single day of our business. We want to wake up inspired and thriving and create freedom out of our business. I know that the entrepreneurs I talk to, the number one common vision that we all share is that we want freedom, freedom of what we do with our time, freedom to determine how much money we make, freedom about how we build our businesses and and fulfill our values, right? Our lifetime vision and entrepreneurship is a way to do that. Building a business is a way to do that. And what most people are missing is that they don't focus on these three things, productive action, client attraction, and money magnetism. Instead, most coaches and experts and service-based business owners will spend a lot of money and time focusing on the wrong things. So they'll collect a lot of different types of strategies and they'll learn a whole bunch of different tactics. Having this stuck mindset belief that up here, you've got to work hard to make money. And that if I just work harder, I'll figure it out. But they're not focusing on the background of the law of attraction for business. If you are aligned in your state of being, it means that you've reduced resistance and you can become attractive to rapid business growth. So the biggest problem that I see here, if you put this all into the formula, so this is all combined together, the biggest problem I see for people here is that they have what I call blocks. And this is gonna be blocks to their success, blocks to their productive action, blocks to their money magnetism. And this is what we can think of as resistance, okay? And when we have resistance, this is going to cause you up here to have blocked flow. So when you have blocked flow, you are not going to be able to experience rapid business growth because you're going to be stuck not in productive action. You're going to be stuck not experiencing client attraction. You're going to be stuck having a blocked money flow. And then, of course, you can't have money magnetism when you are experiencing this horrible problem of resistance. Now let's break down what resistance looks like. Resistance comes in many forms and we'll apply it to each of these three components. So if you think about resistance in terms of productive action, what would it look like to have resistance in productive action? So resistance here would be fear. Okay, so you wake up in the morning and you feel scared. And I always teach that fear equals the future expectation of awful 
results. So if you look, oops, it's hard to talk and, and write at the same time. So let's circle these. So future, so F E A R, right? The future expectation of awful results. So when you are not in productive action, often it has to do with fear and uncertainty. And uncertainty leads to fear. Doubt leads to fear. Imposter syndrome leads to fear. Another big problem with productive action that creates resistance and blocks your flow of money, blocks your flow of clients, is going to be procrastination. So this is another really big problem problem for business owners. Procrastin. I'm gonna reverse that. Procrastination. There we go. So procrastination, I would say, is another huge issue for entrepreneurs. Now, I want you to consider why you're procrastinating. One of the biggest reasons that we procrastinate is because either it's what we're wanting to do is not aligned with our zone of genius, or we have fear or a lack of a plan. So I want you to question for yourself right now, why am I procrastinating? So first think of something, you know, what am I procrastinating about? Is it I'm not taking action on lead gen? Is it that I'm scared to reach out to people? You know, what is that procrastination factor for you? Is it I'm in a new learning curve and I'm not sure what to do? Fear-based procrastination and being out of alignment with your zone of genius procrastination is going to look very different than a lack of a plan. And it is interesting to think about how procrastination is a feedback loop telling you information about yourself. So if you're willing to slow down enough and look at the procrastination and really question why you're procrastinating, then you can decide what action to take from there. Sometimes productive action from procrastination is going to be to change what you're doing, right? If you change what you're doing and you get into alignment with your zone of genius and you do what you love, you're not going to procrastinate. Remember, action, this is really important. I want you to pay attention to this. Action is evidence of belief. Action is evidence of belief. This is so important. So anytime you're in action, you already know that you subconsciously and consciously believe what it is that you're going for. If you're in procrastination, then you automatically know that something is stuck and you don't believe it to be true. You don't believe you're good enough. You might think, I have never done this before, so I'm not capable. So look at procrastination and really dig into what is the reason I'm procrastinating. Now, remember, if you've listened to me before, I teach my inner power formula, and this is important here. So the inner power formula is three steps. Number one, you've got to recognize. Number two, reframe. And number three, repeat to reprogram. Okay, so the inner power formula, recognize, reframe, repeat, to reprogram. What I was talking about here on this recognize is you've got to slow down enough to go, why am I procrastinating? Why am I procrastinating? If you don't slow down enough to recognize why you're procrastinating right here, this is your key starting place of change. You're never going to get different action. You're never going to get into productive action, which means you can attract clients, which means you're not going to become a money magnet, which means you're not going to rapidly grow your business. So you've got to slow down to recognize what's causing the procrastination. And you don't even necessarily need to know the answer because sometimes that's tricky to find out by yourself and you might need a coach to help you or somebody outside of you. But first you wanna recognize I am procrastinating. And Dr. Amanda said, if I'm procrastinating, action is evidence of belief. And so that means that somewhere in me, I don't believe something to be true. It could be, I don't believe I have the answers, which is then gonna tie back to your lack of a plan. If you don't have a plan, right, you're gonna then create a plan. So so the easiest way here, if you're in, in procrastination and you're not taking productive action and you want to reduce that resistance so that you can get into productive action, you're going to take the first step, okay? Take the first step. 
And what's fun about just taking the first step is that you don't need to know all the steps. And this happens a lot when we're taking on new quests and new projects. We tend to get into a state of overwhelm because we think, I've got to know everything. I've got to know everything from A to Z. When in reality, you just need to take the first step. And I wanted this to be a small step, right? Because if you think you need to take a giant leap, it gets overwhelming and you feel scared then you procrastinate, then you can't get into productive action. So pay attention to procrastination and recognize. Then you reframe. And the reframe here would be that you're going to take the small step. So the small step is the reframe. That's your action step. If you're in procrastination, you go, okay, I recognize that I'm procrastinating. The reframe is that I'm going to take one small step that I know to take. That's going to shift the energy. That's going to get me into productive action. Now, the one small step might be, I need to get inspired. I need to reconnect with my why. So I'm going to listen to a podcast episode to get inspired. Or it could be, I really need to reach out to that coach I've been wanting to reach out to, Dr. Amanda. <laughs> Law of Attraction for Business School. You can hang out with me there and learn lessons like this every single day. It might be that. It might be you need a coach. And if it's not me, that's okay. Find a coach that can help you create a plan of action and get you into productive action so that you can turn on your money magnetism. The reframe might be that you are needing to slow down to speed up. So you need to take some time to do a dad list, a drop, automate, delegate list where you go, okay, I'm overwhelmed. I'm taking too much in unproductive action. It's causing me to feel burnt out. So then I get into a state of procrastination where I'm doom scrolling on social media and I don't feel like actually focusing on anything because I'm just overwhelmed and bombarded with information. So the reframe there could be, I'm going to slow down. Maybe I go take a walk around the block and I meditate for 20 minutes. And then I write in my journal and do a brain dump list and write out everything that is on my plate and prioritize it and then take one small step. So that could be a reframe. So there's a few examples of how reframes would look for procrastination specifically. Now, then you're going to repeat this to reprogram. Now, this is key because repeating to reprogram, if you don't repeat to reprogram, it's impossible to change because we are habitual beings and our subconscious stores our habits and the law of attraction is directly linked to our habits because whatever we subconsciously think, believe, feel, and do we keep attracting to us. So in order to get a different result on the outside, you've got to change your subconscious reprogramming. You've got to repeat to reprogram. Now, remember, this is key. Um, if you don't like what you are getting on the outside, so this would be on the outside, right? This is things like results, money, clients, easy business growth. If you don't like what you're getting on the outside, you've got to change what's within. Okay. That's your mindset. That's your belief system. That's your subconscious programming. That's your habits. So remember the inner power formula is an L O A for biz formula that helps you reprogram your subconscious state of being to get different results. That's why this formula is so critically important for you because you're going to repeat, repeat, repeat to reprogram your subconscious mind to get different results on the outside. And I'll tell you, this is where every entrepreneur that I know who is struggling and comes to me and says, Dr. Amanda, I'm so tired of doing the same things over and over again, and I don't know why it's not working. Or they'll even say, I've tried everything and it's not working. But the thing that they haven't tried that they're missing is what I'm talking to you about here today. They have not learned the law of attraction for business formulas where they get into productive action, experience client attraction, and turn on their money magnetism because they're focusing on the wrong things. If this is you, it's going to look like overworking. It's going to look like in this client attraction piece, it's going to look like you can being confused about what to offer. So let's look at some forms of resistance for your client attraction. So in this, when you're thinking about client attraction, resistance here is going to look like fear is another big one, but let's say specifically sales fears. So it's sales fears, okay? And sales fears cause you to be a client repulsion magnet. 
<laughs> or push clients away, let's say. So if you're stuck in this space, it means that you're not going to pr play with lead gen. You're not going to follow my business profitability cycle, which is to create, test, refine, and scale. Instead, you're going to go out, you're going to do a couple things. It's not going to work. And then you're going to give up and that's going to cause resistance. You're going to in here in client attraction. It could be that you have imposter syndrome. Right. And imposter syndrome really is also fear, right? It's fear that you're not enough. So imposter syndrome and imposter syndrome leads to doubt, uncertainty, a lack of clarity. And all of those are going to cause resistance. Remember, I said up here, this circle right here is causing blocks, which are resistance and resistance is the number one reason you don't manifest or achieve your goals. The number one reason you don't manifest what you want is resistance. And so again, like I said, in productive action, it could be fear, it could be procrastination, it could be lack of a plan. And in client attraction, resistance looks like sales fears, imposter syndrome. It could be that your program is not profitable. So profitability of program is lacking. So maybe you have a program that isn't easy to sell. You don't know your five-star client well. You don't know their psychographics. I want you to pay attention here to the client journey roadmap. So I have an awesome client journey roadmap. If you want it, DM me and let me know and I'll give it to you. Client journey roadmap. I taught a whole course on this and it is awesome. So let me know if you want the client journey roadmap. If you don't know your client journey roadmap, it's impossible to experience client attraction because you don't know the road that you're walking your clients down. Maybe you don't understand the steps that you're walking them through. You don't know how to talk about it. All of that is going to help you with client attraction if you know how to do it. If you don't, it's causing, again, like we said, resistance. And resistance is why you don't manifest. And resistance is why you're not attracting the clients that you want to attract. So it's critical to focus on that. Now let's play with money magnetism. So money magnetism is the third thing that we're going to create to experience rapid business growth. And money magnetism, forms of resistance here would be money blocks. And money blocks are wild to work with because you'll notice that your money blocks are programmed into you from the time that you were a child. And when you were a child, you started to learn some conscious beliefs about money and you believe them to be true. You might not consciously think that you believe them, but subconsciously it's become the way that you think that you feel around money, how you interact with money until you consciously choose to reprogram yourself. You're carrying your childhood money beliefs. So it's like having your five-year-old drive around your money car and you're expecting the five-year-old to navigate your wealth building. Obviously that's not going to work. So it's critical that you become clear about what your money blocks are so that if you choose to become a money magnet, you're going to reprogram yourself with the inner power formula. So you're going to recognize your money blocks, you're going to reframe them, and you're going to repeat those reframes to reprogram yourself for money magnetism. Now, this process can be used, we could say reframes here would be things like EFT tapping I've used. I love EFT tapping. Of course, if you haven't read my book, it has a hundred journaling questions or over a hundred to help you break through your unconscious money blocks. So go to IamAMoneyMagnetBook.com. You can get a free, free chapters, test it out. And then of course, buy the book. And then also my Law of Attraction for Business School. So Law of Attraction for Business dot school. This will give you a seven day free trial to start learning everything I'm teaching here five days a week, you get lessons, you get journaling prompts, meditations, app or mantras, and they are geared in topics for business owners across these three topics. So productive action, client attraction, and money magnetism. And I think you can tell if you've been listening to me for a while or, or just interacting with any of my stuff. I know a lot about these things because I went from food stamps to six figures in my business, which took massive transformation of my money blocks, right? Money, some of my main money blocks were, I really believed you got to work hard for money. 
I would say that my biggest money belief that was really holding me back was that women can't be powerful money makers. I was raised in a fundamentalist Christian family where women weren't supposed to work or be the breadwinners. And they were really, you know, the way that I interpreted it was that men are the powerful force. They know everything. Women don't know as much. And that really played out in my life in huge ways until the last five years or so. And when I started learning about law of attraction and money blocks and breaking through subconscious beliefs, and then I started to reprogram myself. This led to me building a business because building a business is one of the best ways to build your wealth. I really wanted to focus on wealth building. And so let's just end for today. I, I covered a lot. I hope my writing is nice enough that you can read it. <laughs> so remember, law of attraction for business formula is these three things, productive action, client attraction, and money magnetism. And when you practice and do what it takes to reprogram yourself for these, you can get into productive action. You can experience client attraction. You can turn on your money magnetism to experience rapid business growth. And this is when you experience rapid business growth, it gets so fun because you get into what I've called your, we're going to circuit a circle rapid business growth because it's so fun. When you get into rapid business growth, it puts you into your zone of manifestation. Oh, and it's fun when you get into your zone of manifestation, because in your zone of manifestation, that's where money magnetism happens, client attraction happens, and productive inspired action where you're getting up in the morning aligned and attracting business growth. So I will say this, a lot of people want to sell you a quick win program. And I have been one of those people who has purchased a 10K program to get all the leads in the world. And, you know, like, oh, this is the magic bullet solution. And then it didn't work. And I've spent over a hundred grand on coaches, courses, all the things over a hundred grand. And some of them were really helpful and most of them were not. And the reason is because they weren't focusing on what I'm talking about today. They did not reprogram my belief system. They did not help me understand easy, simple ways to attract business. And I'm always interested for you in the highest ROI use of your time. So the least money in for the most money out with the most joy, where you are loving your life, loving your business. So everything I teach you is all about that. And there isn't a quick pill fix. I'm not going to sell you a lie. When you work with me, I teach you how to reprogram yourself from the inside out so that you become the magic pill so that you create a magic wand because you're the deliberate conscious creator of your reality. And it takes a little bit of time because think about all the ways that you've programmed yourself to be repellent and have resistance in these areas. I mean, we're talking like beliefs about yourself as a human in the world getting projected into your business. And business is a spiritual transformation process. I always talk about the spiral growth curve. And in this spiral growth curve of business, you are going to break through all of your unconscious BS. And that takes time. I can't tell you something that in one week you're going to be wildly successful. That is BS. If someone's telling you that, they are full of crap. And I will always bring to you guidance and mentorship and universal truths that you can follow to strategically reprogram yourself for success. So the way that you want to do that again is go to the law of attraction for business dot school. There's a free trial, seven days, and then it's so inexpensive after that for you to get access to Course Vault. Me, every single week I do workshops live. You can ask me questions. You get daily law of attraction lessons. We do a once a month coaching session live. I mean, it is so much bang for the buck. And it is the thing that you're missing that you need in order to reprogram yourself for business success. So let's recap. Today, we talked about these three things, productive action, client attraction, and money magnetism. And to get into these three things and have them rapidly grow your business, you are going to want to reduce resistance. When you reduce resistance, you can then get into rapid business growth and your zone of manifestation. And when you do that, you're going to be breaking through your old ways of being. You're going to be reprogramming yourself for success. 
Yes. And that's what I want for you. I know it's what you want for yourself. So come hang out with me in the law of attraction for business dot school. I'll see you next time. And until then, I'm sending you giant hugs and money magnet high fives. See you in the next episode.